Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have learned the paragraph, the comment, how to add the heading, how to add the quote and now in this lecture we are going to learn the anchor tag. So first of all what is the anchor tag? That anchor tag is an element by using this element you can add a link in our web page. So now here I'm going to show you what is the anchor tag. Here I'm going to open the Wikipedia. Click on the first link and here you see that these are the links these are added by using the anchor tag so what you need to do you have to put a anchor tag and then you have to specify a destination of an anchor tag this is just a simple text when we click on it so here you can go to an other page so this is the thing this is the hyper reference or the destination so now here I'm gonna give a link I'm gonna create an anchor tag first of all what we need to do we have to write a in the anchor angle brackets that is the anchor tag and here is its closing tag and in between these two tags you have to write the text that is appear on the screen here you see that uh, here is the cominenus whatever if we call it and now here I'm gonna write this text here I'm gonna give the link of the Google search engine so here I'm gonna write Google and now here we have to specify the hyper reference when we click on the Google so the page goes to a destination here I'm gonna write HTTPS www.google.com and now the link is created here I'm gonna reload the page here is the link and when we click on it so it goes to the google.com Google search engine here you see that the Google search engine is open but you can also able to give the link of any other website here I'm gonna copy this link and then paste it here and now when we click on the link so it goes to Wikipedia here is I'm gonna back it and here click on it and now the Wikipedia is open and you can also give the link of the image here I'm gonna open the pitbull image pitbull lovely singer and here is pitbull and here I'm gonna open this image and click on view image and now uh, here I'm gonna copy this link and then here I'm gonna paste this link here so now when we click on the link so that image will be open here I'm gonna open that page here is the page this is the web page and now click on it and here you see that this image is open so this is the way we can also give the link of the image but here I want to tell you another thing when we click on this link so the image is open in this tab it will not be open in another tab or in other words when we click on the links so the destination page is open in the new tab so here I'm gonna open this image in the new tab here in the opening tag you have to write target and then here if we write underscore blank target value is underscore blank then the destination will be open in the new tab here I'm gonna reload it so here you see that the picture is open in the new tab and you can also apply this target on the links of the websites on the search engines all, all the things and now I want to show you another thing that is how to insert the image in the page here I'm gonna show you how to insert the image here leave this 
and come on here first of all we have to write the image tag it have not the closing tag and now in the opening tag we have to give the source the address of the image and the name and the extension of the image so here I want to tell you something here is the image here is our HTML5 file that is the 6.html and here is a picture that is for its name is 4 and its type is jpg here you see that this its type is jpg and now both things are in the same folder so now how to write the source when the image and the html file in the same folder we have to directly write the name and the extension of the image so it will be loaded here I'm gonna reload this page and here is the image and here is the link and here another condition is if the image is present in a in a other folder here is its name is E I'm gonna give it E name and then here I'm gonna cut this image and paste it here so now image is in another folder that is existing in the same folder where the 6.html place so now we have to write the folder name before the name of the image and we have to write the forward slash image is in the e folder and now here you see that the image is still present but here if we edit the name of the folder so it's the wrong folder so here is the image is not loaded so here and now here I want to tell you another thing that is if the image is present in any place in our computer so here I'm gonna place the image I have already cut the image so now here I'm gonna place the image in my program files in the C here I'm gonna cut the image here is the image so now here I'm gonna place it in my program files and now here is the image it is now in the program file in the C directory and my HTML5 file is in the D local disk D and now here what we need to do we have to click on this bar and we have to copy the address the complete address of the image here I have copied this and now here we have to write that address and then a forward slash the image is in the C local disk and then a program file and then the image and here we have to make all the for backward slashes to the forward slashes and now here is the image is still present and here I'm gonna change its directory so it is not loaded so in this way when the image is present in any place in our computer you have to give the complete address and you can get that address by simply clicking on the bar and now here I want to tell you another thing that is here you can give the alternative alt means alternative here you can write any text when the image is not load so this text is shown on the screen when our internet connection is too slow so this text will be shown on the screen here I'm gonna write sorry it's not loaded and now here I'm gonna change this directory so the image is not load and this text is shown on the screen and if the image is loaded so this text is not going to be shown on the screen and here I want to tell you another thing we are also able to provide a link on the image when we click on the image so a specific website is open here I'm gonna make this link in the comment here is and now here is the image and what we need to do to produce a link on an image 
here we have to write the anchor tags and here is the closing tag and now in between these anchor tags you have to write the image and then the source and now what we need to do we have to insert the image at the place of the text here you see that we have write the Google in between two tags now we are gonna write we are gonna insert the image here I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here and here in the opening tag we have to write hyper reference and here I'm gonna write the link of google.com so now when we click on the image so this destination is going to be open here is load this and here you see that this image is not have any link when we click on it so no page is going to be open and here when we click on this image so here you see that google search engine is going to be open here we have put the wrong name here we have write four w's we have to write three and here i'm gonna reload it and here is the google search engine is going to be open here it is and the next thing is the table the tables in the html also have the rows and the columns like the simple table here i'm gonna show you a picture of the table here you see that we are gonna create the table like this first of all we will create the first row it have the headings then the second row then the third row then the fourth row so here i'm not gonna put the colors like this on the table because we need to use the css i'm gonna use the css in my next section in the css section so that's why here i'm gonna create the simple table only in the html so first of all what we need to do here i'm gonna make this thing in the comment here is the comment and now here i'm going to create the table so first of all what we need to do we need to put the table tag here is the table tag it's opening and here is its closing tag and now here what we need to do we have to put the first row first row contain the heading and first of all we have to put the tags for the first row it means tr means table row and it will create the first row in the table and now what we need to do we have to put these table headings and we have to put these table headings in the first row and here I'm gonna put these table headings in the th tag th stands for table heading here is the table heading and here we have to put the number this is the first row and now here I'm gonna put the second table heading third and fourth here I'm gonna increase it here it is and now here I'm gonna write first name and here is last name and now here is the row number so now let's reload it these things are loaded here I'm gonna backward and now here you see that this table is created and now here you see that there is no border there is no separation we will put the separation later and now the first row is created and now what we need to do we have to create another tr tags and we need to put this uh, number then this first name last name and 94 in the html we have to create the table row wise first of all we will create first row then put its data then the second row then put its data and here is the table row and here what we need to do first of all we have to put the number and here this is the table data we have to write table data td here is the td stands for table data 
this is the table heading and here I'm gonna write first number and here is the last name here I'm gonna put Steve and here is the last name is Jonas and now here I'm gonna put its roll number is 97 and now let's reload it so here you see that this is the second row F number is present here first name is here Jonah is here and here is the 97th so now this is the second row of the data in this way you have to put the third row and then put its data here I'm gonna copy it here it is and now here it here is this and now here is the third one and here I'm gonna paste increase this row and now here it is and now here I want to tell you something that is the border we are also able to apply the separation lines on it what we need to do in the opening tag you have to write border one here is the one so now it will create the border around all the table things here I'm gonna zoom it here you see that the border border or double we will make this border single by using the CSS but in the next section and now here you see that the space inside these cells are low so I'm gonna increase these space inside the cell we have to apply the cell padding here is the cell padding equal and here I'm gonna write one so it is one pixel so now here you see that it is literally increased here I'm gonna write 10 then it will be increased gradually here it is so in this way you can create a table and if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion I will see you in the next lecture thank you for watching this video see you in the next video